Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at why people choose to live in areas at risk of tectonic hazards. This is part of Paper 1, Unit A, The Challenge of Natural Hazards. The majority of tectonic hazards occur at plate margins, yet these plate margins are home to some of the most densely populated regions in the world, such as Japan and parts of China meaning that millions of people are at risk. So if people know that they are living in an area of tectonic risk, why do they choose to stay? There are many reasons that people choose to live in areas at risk of tectonic hazards. Our first reason is geothermal energy. Geothermal energy is a huge source of renewable power in volcanically active areas. The hot magma found in permeable rocks heats up steam. This steam is then harnessed by drilling boreholes into the rock to enable the superheated steam to drive turbines at power stations, like the one you can see on the screen. Geothermal energy is important in taking action against the climate crisis. It produces fewer greenhouse gases so therefore doesn't contribute much to global warming. And it is renewable, so it won't run out, which is good for energy security. Iceland is a great example of a country which has embraced geothermal energy. Around 30% of the country's total energy is produced this way. And about 85% of all houses in Iceland are heated with geothermal energy. Our second reason is farming. Many people choose to live around the slopes of active volcanoes because of the benefits it brings to farmland. Of course, there is the issue of lava and ash erupting from volcanoes, which kills livestock and destroys crops and vegetation. However, after many years, weathering of this lava releases minerals and leaves behind nutrient-rich soil. This super fertility is ideal for farming and it means that land can be farmed productively in these areas to provide a reliable source of food and income, which is particularly important to low income countries. Volcanic soils are found on less than 1% of the Earth's surface. However, they support around 1 in 10 of the world's population particularly in areas of high population density in places like Indonesia and the Philippines. Our third reason to choose to live in an area of tectonic risk links to mining. Lots of volcanic areas are rich in minerals, which creates thousands of jobs in the mining industry. Not just in dormant and extinct volcanoes, but also active volcanoes. Pictured on the screen is Kawaijin. This is an active volcano in East Java in Indonesia. Its crater is one of the biggest sulfuric lakes in the world. The sulfur mining there is sold for all sorts of things, to make bleach, fertilizer, matches, and even medicines. But as you can imagine, mining in active volcanoes is extremely dangerous for many reasons. Miners can't afford protective clothing, so they're exposed to toxic fumes and frequently get burnt. Miners suffer respiratory diseases from breathing in hydrogen sulfide and sulfur dioxide. This also burns their eyes and throat, and it poses a huge risk in terms of loss or life. In the crater of this volcano alone, 74 miners have died from breathing in toxic fumes in the last 40 years. Finally, the job is physically demanding. Miners have to carry loads of sulphur weighing 100 kilograms up and down the rocky and slippery mountain paths. However, mining is seen as an attractive job as it pays better than what people earn on the nearby coffee plantations. Wages on average are $6 a day, so miners continue to live and work in these dangerous areas. Our final reason that people choose to live in areas of tectonic risk is tourism. 
Tourists visit volcanoes for the spectacular and unique views, relaxing hot springs, adventure, and for thrill seekers, a sense of danger. More than 100 million people visit volcanic sites every year, particularly in the Canary Islands and Iceland. The revenue they generate benefits the locals and the countries they are in by triggering a huge multiplier effect. Tourists spend money in the local area and they create many job opportunities. Some countries are dependent on this income as it comprises a significant part of their economy, such as Iceland. A great example of this was the effusive eruption of Fagradisfal back in spring 2021 pictured on the screen. This volcano erupted over a period of weeks and drew in tourists from all over the world to witness this spectacular sight, with some even paying significant amounts of money for helicopter tours over the erupting crater. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on why people choose to live in areas at risk of tectonic hazards. Thank you for watching.